What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? We tuning in for another video. As y'all can see by the thumbnail, man, today is needle and seat adjustment. So about this video, let me give y'all the backstory. This footage was shot yesterday. I'm doing the intro for it because I had split the video. The video been super long, man. It was longer than what I thought. And I was like, why not split it up? This would be a good video to show people how to adjust a needle and seat. Uh, or how to clean a needle and seat, not adjust. So, video I'm about to give y'all is the day before, well, it's the same day I went to the track. I took the cuts to the track, basically. We took it to the track, and uh, that video coming after this one. I had, to, I had to drop this one first for it to make sense. This one coming first, track video coming tomorrow. So y'all just stay tuned in for that. I took the cutler to the track, so this footage y'all seeing is the, day, is the same day of the track video but I had a problem I had a problem and uh, y'all see how that turned out at the track on the track video but yeah y'all just stay tuned in finna roll the footage and I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute alright y'all so to first things first to uh clean the needle and seat you got your screw right here in the top which I get closer to after I take it out or you can just pull up a picture of a carburetor car. You got your top screw right here, the very top big screw. You just take your screwdriver, flathead. I had to learn how to do that car. Boy, my S10 cheapskate did this jump one time. Boy, it was, woo, bad. I'm talking about, boy, shooting up bad. Which I ended up having to get a new carburetor anyway, but this one brand new, so, you know. You just take that out. That's just a lock. It just lock your adjustment in place, and then, this right here just pulls off. You pry it off. Gotta be careful not to tear that gasket. It's a gasket on here. Cause you turn it. The first time I ever did that, I um I started turning this right here. But that'll that'll just your float level. And I don't know if they got sight glass on it. Let me see it should. It cost enough. Should have a sight glass on it. Let me see. Crazy, it don't either. So this don't have no sight glass on it. Sometimes you have a sight glass right here. You can see your float level. But that don't. So, let me see. Gotta be careful with these, boy. Tell that little gasket right there, boy, it'll be a wrap. Not want to tear that gasket. There you go. Gasket stayed on there. Alright. You don't want to tear that. Get this off. gasket off so we good now and then you got the note this your needle and seat right here let me get zoom in let me get y'all cause this your float level so that top screw it's the same thing for the back too let me bring y'all up so you know if you, never, if you ever have gas uh, shooting up through the roof out of this right here these two you have gas shooting up like that your needle and seat dirty. So, same thing, you take the big screw out, the screwdriver, it's a flathead, just take it out. And then, that that's a lock screw. Then the other one, right here, 
the nut. Like I said, you see the gasket? You do not want to rip that. That's why I was careful when I was prying. I'll make sure I don't rip that gasket. Man, you learn from mistakes. Then you just pop that off, and you you set to uh. You have to see how much sticking out. You take your picture. That's what I like to do. So make sure, cause what you're gonna have to do. This screw, actually, see how it's made. Uh oh, I'll try to make sure the gasket don't come off. See how it's made. It's not a straight circle. It made where it going here, and then you can turn it. You can turn this, and it'll actually turn this, so you can remove it. It'll screw it up, and once it screw it up, you can turn it with your uh, hands, and you can pull it out. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some trash in it. So uh, we're gonna get that out. I'm gonna blow it out. You can just blow it out with your mouth, whatever. You don't want to use no air. And, uh, they say carburetor cleaner. They say uh, mess them up. So I just don't, I ain't never used it. I always told them to mess them up, but I don't, I don't use it. So, uh, but I'm just going to blow this out, set it back, then we're going to crank it up. All right, so that's what I tell you. You take this nut, and I got the, the side, the bottom, the side where I took the gasket off. And you just turn it like that. You can hand t turn it with your hand, and then it's good. And now I can screw it out. I took a picture to see how many threads uh, were hanging out. And then you just pull this thing on out. And we're gonna clean it up. Pretty sure it got some trash in it. That should need in the seat right there. Let me see. So y'all. Oh, right. Let me see. But this is your needling seat right here. Usually, well, I just blew it out, but trad be up in there most of the time, that middle part where it goes up and down. So I'm going to finish inspecting this, then we're going to get it popped back in. All right, y'all, so we got that set back right. Got the gasket on there. This way you need your wrench. Cause you want to hold this uh when you put the when you put the lock the lock screw back in you want to hold you want to hold that nut cause i made this mistake too when i first learned you uh you don't hold that nut and you start turning it when you start uh tightening it down with the screwdriver it'll turn your needle and seat you don't hold that nut in place turn the needle and seat and then it take it it take your adjustment out. Your uh your float level be set wrong stuff. So you just hold this. You don't turn it, just hold it. Use the holding in place. And you turn this right here to lock it in place. And then locked in. Now we're good to go. I'm crank this thing up. Alright, good. So now I'm gonna put this on. And I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna take the top lid off so I can see what's going on. I see it was wet in there, it skidded yesterday. So we just take that off and I can look through here and see. Let me see. All right. Crazy, I didn't do it till I put a load on it though. I was driving a little bit then. I saw that gas shooting up through there. I said, oh. That what cuz old talking about. So we finna crank this thing up. What the hell happened right there? Oh, sweet. Hold on, y'all. Oh, hold up now. Something going on right there. Something going on right there. I had to switch. I had the key out. We got to take that out. All right, y'all, we got the rent just in case it do it again. We got wife in there cranking it. Oh, go ahead and crank it up. Nah, just crank it and see. Then we, when it fire up, then start patting it a little bit. Pretty good two times. All right.
That was all about y'all that started. I have no idea that started ain't never did that. You know, shoot no gas up. Alright y'all, so I'm back. So now that y'all saw the footage and everything and how um how I adjusted the needle and seat. Now, like I said, this is the day after. The day after. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the problem showed itself again. It showed itself again. I gonna say that. So what I'm about to do is uh I just crank it up. I just crank it up. I couldn't get it to do it, obviously, cause the car not warmed up. So I'm about to drive the car down to uh, Jesse over at Lawler Street Cars and have Jesse check it out. Cause I'm thinking the float, nasty float car. I clean the needle and seat. And when we get back, man, wifey, wifey's supposed to pick me up a uh, a shelf too. So we get back, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, see if we're gonna get that going and all that. And I got to go to O'Reilly's car. We got all the car springs for both of the G bodies for my car and wife's car. So we gotta do that. So y'all wanna stay tuned. We finna head over to Lawless first, though. All right, y'all. So we over here at Lawless. They got finished getting it, getting the carb adjusted. Uh, the floats, the float levels were high. So um, just just hooked that up for me. So I appreciate him for that. We should be good to go, cause the float level, I'ma explain to him and get back to the house. He explained it to me better, cause like I say, ain't there fool with the floats and stuff. So I brought it over here and uh, he just showed me how to do it and did it. It was high, both of them. So now we're gonna get back to the house. We shouldn't have that problem anymore. So now we're good to go. So we're gonna get on back and I'll check back in. All right, y'all, so we back from Lawless. Uh, put it back. It was, hold on, let me set y'all down. Set y'all down and pop the hood. I had to do my trick to pop the hood, man. Uh oh, come on now, hood. Rhythm and blues, get right there. All right, she got right then. I had to call her name. Had to call her name. Say her name like Destiny Childs. But anyway, yeah, we got back from this Lawless Street Cars. And. Just know I tested this thing. I went to O'Reilly's too. I just didn't I just didn't uh cut the camera on. And wifey did. Wifey got my all shit. So we're gonna check that out, man. I got a good boy. I got the best wife in the world. In the world, Craig. That's why I do stuff for her all the time without her asking. Anyway, cause I always ask her for stuff and little simple stuff. I'd be playing, but she'll go ahead and get it for me. That's a good wife. So uh yeah, Jesse. The floats uh the floats were high on the front and the back, actually. The float levels were high, so Jesse, uh, he did that. He hooked it up, man. I appreciate my boy, Lawless Street Cars and Fabrication. Numbers on the screen. Y'all hit him up. He do everything. He might be doing my short block. We don't know. We ain't going to say nothing, though, anyway. But, uh, yeah, Jesse, Jesse hooked that thing up, man. The floats, these are float. I know some of them have sight glad. Like I said, mine don't, though. But right here, this float level. And he told me how to adjust it, which I know how to let it out, but... He told me how you know you got the right adjustment. So, basically when you take this screw out, fluid don't supposed to just pour out of there and just run out. It's supposed to just trickle out. When he took it out, when he took this one out, I saw it. They don't just run and just boom. Just running. So the float levels were way too high. And he was like, uh, that's usually what it is. Or sometimes the float have a hole in it. Because I had, y'all know I took the needle and seat out. Y'all saw that in this video. So the float levels were high. Uh, so that's what it was. But just know, it ain't no problem no more. I tested it out. I'm going to test it out. Y'all know. I tested it out. Trust me, I made me a hit in the pool. It, it, it's straight now. It ain't shooting nothing. No gas. It didn't shoot no gas. Um, none of the way. None of the way. And I've been driving a good little minute. It didn't shoot no gas. So let me uh show y'all the... Um, Car springs. These things high, boy. These bad boy high for both of the car. Five, $540. But we got the hell. We got the hell. Oh, uh, so let me see. Car springs. 
these are the coil springs. I don't know which is which. They might be the same. I don't know. I'm going to get them in the garage. We'll open them in the garage. So we got everything unloaded. And I'm going to have to look them up. Because I don't know which, which is which for real. They got different part numbers. So. I don't know. I remember these the front springs right there. Uh, But I remember I got heavy duty for wifey car. I got heavy duty springs. Because it was a V6 car. And we're going to give it that nice little squat look. Uh, I think I just got regular car spring for mine, regular low rating. These are the rivers. These bad boys look Man, what are these, man? These bad boys here. Wait a minute. I'm going to look these up. These things here, man, ain't no way. This is not a real car spring, man. This is, I can look at that and tell you this. This junk will have your car in the air. Well, we got a problem. Gotta take them back. Ain't no way that's no real car spring. That's too tall. If you put the car spring is responsible for the height of your car and stuff. The shots absorb just the ride. They, that's for comfort. This right here ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. And they're definitely not a front. It's definitely not a front. Let's open this. One. See what we got right here then. I'm gonna take that back. I gotta look that up. I'm gonna have to look the part numbers up myself, cause that ain't no ain't no way that's no real car spring. Let's see. Now these are front. And this a front spring. Yeah. That's a front spring. They get compressed and stuff too, but that right there, man, they got too many. They got too many cars on them. Ain't no way. Could be wrong, but I can't see it. All right, y'all, I had to throw this clip in there right quick. Before I had to cut into the other clip and throw this. I opened the box after I had closed the video out. But this how the spring's supposed to look. So these must be for the cutlass. These got to be for the cutlass, but those still look pretty tall to be for a money Carlo now. See this one, two, three, four. Yeah, this cut is car spring. This one I'm expecting to see. This is a real spring. So those other ones, I told them heavy duty for the front. I think they messed around and did heavy duty for the rear. So if they did, I'm about to have to take those back, and change them car. This how they should look. Regular, regular load rate. So these are right for the cutter. So I'm gonna. I took pieces out of the part number, then we're gonna go check that out. So now I'm gonna splice back into the original clip. Core gonna be all in the L. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to lay, lay down and look on the, the car car. I know Box Chevy car spring, they, they don't have nowhere near that many cars on. This a front, and I think this the heavy duty. I think these the one for wifey car and money car low. So these, gonna, these right here gonna work. So what I'm going to do is look at it, take pictures of all the part numbers, go on the website and check them. But y'all see, your yeah, wife did get my car. So I'm about to put this thing together so I can get all these fluids out. Hold on, team. So I can get all these fluids out the floor, man. Like I got all this stuff here with it. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my small block intake. I might sell it or might keep it and use it for something else in the future. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to put this together and then clean all this up so I can put all my fluids on the cart. Then we can get it out of the way, and then I check these right here, check the part numbers. So, uh, yeah, man, this this probably gonna wrap this up, y'all. It's gonna wrap this up. So y'all just stay tuned. Let me go out here so y'all can see. So y'all just uh, y'all just stay tuned for tomorrow's video, cause y'all see the track footage. Y'all see the track footage tomorrow for tomorrow's video. And I'm actually about to do the intro for that now because like I said, I split them up. The footage has just been too, too long of a video. So I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.